Tao, Tao, you wanna... Mm. How dare you, sir? Uh, I'm still trying to do the Twitter post, even. Well, he's uh, doing that. Brought to you by Polar Seltzer. The 16th best seltzer that it's currently available on the market. You can buy it for money. I forgot to put this over here. Oh, We're all right. out of sorts right now. So they're working on our roof right now, and we've spent like the last hour or so getting debris off of all of our stuff. Yeah, think, think, it has been, it has been, uh... Okay, post it, great. Thank the holy deity of Antioch that yeah, I have dust so covers on all my computers. It, it has been, like, we came in and it was just debris wait, wait. everywhere. Ugh. Do we have to turn that off? Sorry, guys. I really the, like that. The, I mean, sorry, sorry to us. Sorry, me. Sorry. Yeah. I had to turn off the AC. It's not as hot as it was yesterday, but it's freaking... Yeah. But, like, literally, it, it just is covered. It looks like a beach blew up in here or something. There's just shit all over. <laughs> Worf wants his hair back. <laughs> Captain. Do you look like... Are you warfing pretty hard at this juncture? I don't know. Let's see here. It's got the, the, the wings going on here. I mean... If only we could draw some ridges on your forehead really quick. <laughs> oh, that'd be good. Can I use, can I use wet erase? Will that go, go no, off? Okay. No, <laughs> Damn. Got to go to the store after this. I want to go to the store with Wharf. I got I got head. Crayola markers over there. Those will wash off. <laughs> no. no. You could suck my ridges. No, Wharf. Debris. Uh, yeah. Debris and detritus. Uh, it's, it's, yeah, it's not... It's not debris, it's Debris. There's, there's all kind of Debris down in this chasm. However, however, Mr. David Attenborough, Sir David Attenborough. Debris. Debris, like, glacier. <clears throat> the Debris on the glacier near the zebras. And the Jaguar. Right. Let's do it. All right. Um, Atari Jaguar. Atari Jaguar. An Atari? An Atari Jaguar. Here we see the Atari Jaguar. <laughs> Sitting there lonely. The 64-bit system that really wasn't 64-bit. The Ataris will have to wait their turn. <laughs> <laughs> It seems a Nintendo has, has appeared <laughs> with an actual 64-bit silicon imaging chip. <laughs> Jaguar. Yes, it's Jaguar. And if you're a slightly drunk, David Attenborough, it's Jaguar. 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 Just keep adding more, vo rah, rah, Just keep rah, rah, adding more yeah. vowels and then, you know, you'll get there eventually. Amazon. Uh, you are, uh, are. Yeah. Amazon's up to no good again. Mm -hmm. mm, I, leave me alone, Vox. I don't, I don't want to whitelist your stuff. It. If I whitelist their thing, there's going to be so many ads all over the all over the place. Yeah. So Amazon, you know, they're always getting a lot of shit for abusing humans. Mm -hmm. But now they've got a genius idea. Instead of what the fuck are they doing up there? Instead of making life better for the humans they employ, now they're just taking a select few. Giving giving them a private break room, giving them cupcakes for free, free cupcakes. Giving them more breaks mm -hmm. so they don't have to take pisses in bottles. That was a thing. Like people were taking pisses in bottles because they, they they can't get a break to go to the bathroom or else they'll get fired. So they're giving them all these perks, and they're brand inv brand ambassadors who have to write blog articles and tweets talking about how amazing it is to work in the wonderful Amazon. Plus, plus, they have that whole campaign that they're doing now on the radio and stuff with like we're raising the bar on paying our staff and stuff like that. Like, well, yeah, the government sat down and they're like, guys, will you fucking pay people? And Amazon's like, no, 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 no. Yeah. And then finally, they they fought and finally they're like, fine, we'll pay them. And then after they finished arguing, like being like, yes, we'll pay people living wages or better wages. And now they're like, look how good we are. We've decided to do this out of the kindness of our hearts. They were forced to do this. When, when the government is like, guys, you got to pay your employees. You know you're not doing it right. And Amazon's like, like well, what about all that lobbying money, you jackasses? Yeah. And they're like, come on. Like, we can come only on. go so far. <laughs> yeah. Come on, we've, we've killed 20 babies. Don't make it 21, but yeah. come on. Yeah. So anyway, that's the fun stuff going on with um, Amazon right now. Mm -hmm. 
I met someone who worked at Amazon uh, over the weekend, and all I said was like in the warehouse, and I was like, "How is it?" And they said, "Well, I am borderline suicidal, but other than that, my life is okay." <laughs> and I was nice. like, "Wow, great!" So, and I was like, "Just," I was like, "That's just from the job, right?" And they're like, "Yep, just from the job." Great, so, but pays well. They're like, since since things changed, it pays well. I guess there's that. Got to try to prevent from killing myself every night, but whatever. <laughs> Speaking of that, let's talk about violence. Yeah. Uh, I'm waiting all week to talk about violence yeah. with you guys. So uh, if you haven't heard, our POTUS has said that the reason why people are walking into Walmarts and gunning people down is because of video games. Praise the Lord. That's right. Video games are what makes all of us violence. Video games are the reason why uh, travel societies have now issued like a warning about coming to America if you're coming from a foreign country due to gun violence. Like, that's that's why. <laughs> Hello Kitty Island Adventure made my son hit my wife. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Outlaw it. Illegal. Mm-hmm. I'll take that anecdotal evidence and it'll make we'll make it illegal. Yep. Biden was actually talking about this and he brought up video games in an interview recently. Mm-hmm. Um, and the person interviewing him, I believe it was uh, who was it was interviewing him. But anyway, they, they immediately shot back because he just he started bringing up violence. He hadn't gotten to his point yet, so I'll give mm-hmm. him that. And they said, "Hey, Japan has more video game uh, money spent per capita than we do. Japan has, you know." Everything's completely legal there as far as violence go. You can mm-hmm. you can show the most actually the most violent things I've ever seen have come from Japan. Oh, absolutely, like hundred percent. Yeah. Anybody ever seen Blood Sea? You ever seen Blood Sea? No. We're not going to bring it up. It sounds you know, I can imagine. It's just an anime about monsters killing children, and yeah. it's the most violent thing you've probably ever seen. That's okay. Japan has almost no gun violence, like almost and almost almost no violence in general. Just it's a doesn't happen. <laughs> Love Rob blood scene. Loves <laughs> blood scene. <laughs> that, that rabbit scene, though. Oh yeah. God, that rabbit scene. It's um, it's oh. pretty fucked up. So they don't really have any violence. So where's the America? Seems to be like on our own little, our own our own little island here. Walmart has a solution. Yeah, Walmart. <laughs> Great job. Yeah, they they know what to do. They ban yeah. ban all games with guns. But still sell weapons. And get rid of all the violent imagery. So no no covers of video games that show people having guns on them and stuff. But if you go two aisles over, you can buy an assault rifle. I'm not going to get in the argument about whether or not guns kill people. You know? I'm not mm-hmm. going to get into that argument. I just think it's funny. They're like, you know what? Let's get rid of all the media that has, or all the video games that have guns. We, uh, you know, movies that have guns? Nah, that's no, not a big deal. No, no. Not a big deal. Right. But we got to sure. get rid of all these games because, you know. Mm-hmm. Jesus. I okay. will believe that video games cause violence when we start to hear about mass combining of crowds by farming simulator <laughs> players. Like, we've got this major problem downtown. A bunch of farming simulator guys have gotten together and they're... <laughs> Movies have walkie-talkies. And they're... Uh, yeah. Yep. Yep. Still love that shot of the guy holding the walkie-talkie <laughs> side. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so Biden immediately was like, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm just saying it's not healthy. But it's something else that's making kids do this. Yeah, and, and to be fair, when they... when when they brought up President Trump's statement to uh, Biden. He rolled his eyes. Yeah. Uh, so that's good. And says that he's more he's more upset about the fact that they make people feel dispassionate about violence. That we've kind of just developed this scotoma to people getting their heads blown up and stuff. And that's that's more what he's getting at. Yeah, but have we? I mean, have I, there's a difference in people argue mm-hmm. that in video games you're you're acting on the violence yourself instead of watching it in a movie. Yeah. But the the thing is, you're still witnessing violent acts. Have you ever seen any real violence? Like, have you ever seen someone get hit by a train or something like that, or anybody get shot in real life? Have you ever seen that? No. When people see that, it messes them up. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? The, when that actually happens, and you, the, because guess what? Humans are smart enough to know the difference between make believe and real life. And when you see that shit in real life, it mm-hmm. fucks you up. Unless you're yeah. cold and all that stuff. But like, people who go to war. They, they have syndromes and shit. People yeah. don't get PTSD from playing video games. Like, give me one, give me one like article somewhere where like a kid sat down and played a game, shot a guy, the guy died, and now he's like in a corner rocking and he's got PST, yeah. P- PTSD, and all that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What do we got over here? Also, the best meme I saw: if a Walmart full of Texans can't stop a mass shooting, then no one can. <laughs> Yeah, because Walmart's full of guns. Mm-hmm. Everyone in Texas has a gun. Yeah, yeah. Maybe that's why it didn't it didn't go as crazy as, as 
you know, it wasn't as crazy as it could have been, but yeah. It is theoretically possible to get PTSD from a video game, but highly unlikely. It's theoretically possible. That's correct. I mean, it's theoretically I mean, possible for any sort of mental issues to arise from yeah. anything because people, maybe there's mental things already there going on. You know, sure. They, they may have already had some underlying craziness that needs to come off. But I mean, like, like you know, the, the original war on video games came out back in the 90s or whatever. Yeah, with Mortal Kombat. Uh, yeah, and all, and all that, that stuff. stuff about being about, and like, since then, science scientists have actually like conclusively found that there is no actual link. Like, it, there, there's nothing there. Right. Like, there's been multiple papers put out about this and stuff. But as we all know, science does not always mean that people will pay attention. This this argument is going to go away when people who grew up playing video games are old enough to be in office. Yeah. Like the, this next generation, the generation after that, this is all going to go away. I see. A bunch of old people who don't understand technology and don't understand video games trying to make laws for technology video games and it's fucking not exactly. working out at all. Yeah. Like it just they don't have any idea what they're talking about. So that's the heart of the issue is you've got people who are not in touch with what they're trying to legislate. Mm. So anyway, we got any more good comments over here? Uh, I heard about violence all my life from my mother in games, but I'm the type of dude who replays dragon age and restarts every time i say something that makes a character sad <laughs> <laughs> so you've got you got that as well yeah so i know some people who play through games like that and kill every npc just for the xp and stuff like that so it's like you got two different worlds here yeah. like you're like the, the hardcore like no 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 that's that that's oh, not a real person i made i made i like i definitely made ghost towns in skyrim and stuff like <laughs> like Definitely, because because when I play Skyrim, I need to insert role playing on top of it, right? Uh, because it's not interesting enough. So I made a character that was like chaotic evil in my brain and played them chaotic evil. So I would just roll into towns, and if the person was be like, "Do you get to the cloud district very often?" No, why would you? Off with his head! Like, <laughs> oh yeah, the, the, the guy sassing yeah. you. Fump. No, look at <laughs> like, you, you peasant. Yeah. yeah, summon sword and cut off his head. And that here was come just, the guards. Yeah, like, oh, here shit. comes guard, and I'd be like, "Fuck you, I'm Thane," and they'd be like, "Oh well." <laughs> <laughs> I got some food. Or like, God. here's a thousand gold. <laughs> Have a good day, guys. <laughs> we can overlook this for now. Yeah. All right, a little bit of technology stuff to talk about right here. Apparently, there's another security flaw in Intel CPUs. Another one. Bitdefender has uncovered this one, and um, it's something that um, would allow someone to access the computer's kernel memory. In there, you can maybe be able to get passwords, tokens, private conversations, all kinds of stuff could be located there. Another one. How's the roofing? You guys can probably hear it. So we're supposed this, to get AC on Tuesday, and we didn't. Yeah, they promised us Tuesday AC. It's not, I don't see anybody. There are zero air conditionings in here. But there were a bunch of cranes this week on the roof today. Laps it's just in Ryzen. <laughs> Laps in Ryzen. So I just um, where's my Ryzen box? Oh, it's it's full of yeah, it was full roof of debris. debris. Yeah, the Ryzen box literally Detroit. was. I left it open, and it's full of debris. <laughs> it's all on my computer and shit. Ugh. Anyway, I'm putting together a, a couple of Ryzen computers in the next week or so. If we have access to the office. I mean, I've got, I'm pretty far behind right now because of not being able to get into the office and do stuff. But, yeah, Ryzen, Ryzen mm. coming up soon. And I'm sure the AMD guys are going to be laughing all the way to the bank on this one. It's a great game to play. When stre- what, are, what, are, what other games do people play for stress relief? Like, just throw stress in the comments while we're talking. Yeah. See, I play, like, um, games like a Medieval and mm. Dusk for stress relief because I actually like running and gunning. It's super yeah. fast. It's like, pop, pop, pop. Just run around, shoot stuff. So... So that's probably bad because it's stressful for some people. Twitch shooters are stressful for some people. One of my favorite stress relief games was uh, Wii Sports Resort, the the second one that they came out with, when you got to do the sword fighting mode. And right. you could, like, they would have this thing where you were just on a rail and you would try to get from one end of the bridge to the other and you would just constantly sword fight people along the way and it would just generate random people to throw at you. That was always a great... I, like, when I would come home from work and stuff, I would just be like, <sighs> hop on that thing. <laughs> and, like, just beat up stuff for a while. That was always really... I put a few yeah. hours into golf. <laughs> it's multiplayer. You know you know what? When I was, like, really stressed when I was doing construction work and stuff. Yeah. And we were working, like, 13-hour days. I would come home and my brain was so spent that I couldn't, like, sit down and play Half-Life or anything. I played Mario Golf on 64. Oh, nice. I put so many hours into Mario <laughs> Golf. I, you know, had the emulator up and running and yep. great, and like it had the graphics turned up and all that stuff. But yeah, I just played the hell out of Mario Golf. Um, mm. You know, I've heard Stardew Valley is good for stress, but I've also heard it's not because there's so many time limits of like, hey, you've got to yeah. do all these things between. Like, I gotta take care of this, this, this. And you gotta, yeah. you only have this big of a window to t- talk to these people, so 
That might not be the best idea. Super hot VR hits the spot. Yeah. Super hot's cool. We tried we tried super hot VR out when we were uh, in North Carolina for the council. I love and it. we got to go to the VR cafe and they had us try it and we tried super hot and that was so much fun. I'll say single player games. Almost any single player games are gonna be like more stress free than having to deal with, you know, playing Apex Legends or something like that yeah. where you're constantly dealing with just it, that those games are stressful. Yeah. So play single player games. Uh, maybe an old old school RPG or something would be a good idea. And otherwise, I like a lot of um, adventure games, like all the old LucasArts games, but also mm. games like Primordial and some of these newer adventure games you guys can find. Playing anime dating sims. Anime dating sims, <laughs> yeah, and just you know. Yeah, what's, what's the Koikatsu party? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that Witcher game. Three, that yeah. fucking game. What's this? An impossible whopper? Yeah. Have you had one yet? Not yet. I mean, I've already had the Impossible Burger so many times sure. living in Portland. I don't know if I need this. But I, w- I, I want to see what their what their final outtake is. But it's yes. just a Whopper. I mean, uh, yeah. Burger King has now uh, been doing Impossible Meat, and it's been going really fucking well for them, apparently. So you know what's interesting about this is it's um the the flavors and the taste and stuff. Look at that. Yeah, the cal- thirty calories. It's like it's. I think the I think the actual Whopper is like six sixty six eighty. Yeah, it's yeah. only thirty. Yeah, there, the Whopper, the regular Whopper, is only thirty calories more. Yeah, um, and a hundred grams more, hundred milligrams more sodium. Yeah, which I don't. People freak out about sodium. I don't think sodium is mm-hmm. a, a big problem, especially after going to like China and Korea and stuff. You you realize they eat nine times the sodium we do, and they don't have any heart disease, and they're rail thin. Yeah, it's like why don't they have any heart disease? They eat ten times the sodium that we do. So I, I, appreciate, I don't think sodium is the whole story here. I appreciate that Kevin Pang just ordered one and took a picture. Like, like this is very obviously not a staged one that right. they made. Like, he just ordered one, and, which yeah. is great because that's what it—that's more indicative of what it would actually look like. But if you guys who live in the middle of nowhere and don't have access to Impossible Meat and you're curious, you go ahead and try one out. Mm. So, for a lot of the meats that are out there, a lot of the super processed meats, I think it tastes better. Yeah, but if you're talking about like a real burger from like a pub or something, I would probably go for the real burger. Mm. But that's just me. All right, what's this? Oh, this thing. Yeah, this is one of yours. Okay, well, yeah, this, this I, I don't, not much to say about this other than there's a huge leak from a threesome dating app, and the leak shows um, people's locations and everything and their names and, like, all that kind of stuff. It's called 3Fun, and they haven't released, like, they haven't released too much of the stuff yet, but you, look at this. You can see all the people who are using it, right? Mm-hmm. Some of them showed up in Congress. Some of them show up in the White House. Yep. Someone could be spoofing and doing the White House, but, like, it'd be really, fun. <laughs> it'd be really funny if Melania's like, help. What if it's her and not Trump? Everyone's like, oh, it's Trump. Yeah. That, that sleaze bag. Trump doesn't need to do this. He just calls up one of his friends who show up with a bunch of, like, barely legal women on a, on a plane, and then they have a flight to somewhere. That's how Trump does it. Yeah. Because he's so successful. Yeah. But. And he knows all the best people. <laughs> <laughs> so he knows all the best threesomes. Uh, you know, I get the best threesomes. I get all the best threesomes. Do whatever I want. Yeah. <laughs> they were begging me for it. What, what do you want? Yeah. Grab him by the pussy. <laughs> oh, hail to the chief. <laughs> Is that the next one? Yeah, yeah here we go. Yeah, one. Yeah. I'm, Cool. I'd... Shut. God damn it! Don't you know we're trying to do things? The train's gonna start next, and it's just gonna be demonetized. A... <laughs> so Trump, <laughs> Trump's wonderful, you know. He's great. Herpes, that's how you get hurt. Hey, everybody, shut up. Trump is the best. You know why? Because he is the president, and he got there by lying, cheating, stealing. You know, backdoor, backroom deals, not paying contractors, and that is the American dream. Mm. Anything to win, and he yep. did it. He. He took advantage of everyone and he won. Everything I just mentioned, those are fucking virtues. Yeah, yeah. He's got a yacht. Getting getting a job that you're highly underqualified for and then fucking it up every day but still getting paid. Yeah. And still but still getting to go in every day without being fired. American dream. Yeah, grande cojones. Yeah. <laughs> you all wish you were that cool. Yeah. See, that that's how you have to understand Trump's appeal. People who want to like be big shots in business, he's like the king of it. You know, the king con man. <laughs> It's the American way. God damn it, everybody. Yeah. AI generated Trump's speech for a good laugh. I bet that's pretty funny. <laughs> anyway, let's talk about Elizabeth Warren. Speaking of this, I'm not going to endorse her. 
but I do like the fact that she's proposing a law to ban um, all the or the, to kill the state laws for banning all the local ISPs. So a lot of the companies like Comcast and stuff have gone to local governments and said, "Hey, we don't want these guys setting up their own ISP. That's not cool. They're not allowed to do that." And then the, they give them a bunch of money, and then the local governments or the federal government is like, "Yep, you guys uh, can make it make it illegal in Tennessee to not have any ISP that's not Comcast." They're like legislating this shit. So she's coming out and said. No, we're going to fix that. And that's cool. Nice. I'm, I'm happy about that. So, yeah. Anyway, what's next? Uh, <clears throat> so, China deploys first AI robot police that can tackle criminals, and now we're living in Black Mirror. I want to see it. I want to see it. I don't think it shows any, anyone getting tackled. I want to see it tackling. Okay, you got to turn up the volume a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. You, down a little bit. Um, is this the right one? Yeah, yeah. Listen to this music. Listen to it. All right, you can stop it now. Okay. They're playing like this happy xylophone, like Kickstarter ding, music. Ding, yeah, yeah. Ding, 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 <laughs> ding, ding, tackle <laughs> motherfuckers. These ro so the robots all have facial recognition technology. There's three different robots. They do three different things. One can provide information. But if if you know the cops are late to show up or whatever, or they find someone who's like they they recognize their face and they're a wanted criminal, they can slam into them and tackle people. I wonder if they. Yeah, I wonder if they have like tasers and stuff like that. What's next? Uh, poison darts. This or? is how. This is how Skynet fucking starts, people. Yeah. But they have this huge collection of of data on everybody in China and a lot of people that visit there. I'm sure I'm in the database now since I've been through there several times. But, I mean, that's the first step. I wonder what's next because they also have that app that rates your credit score and tells you the people around you if they're a good so citizen. You can judge or not. everyone. So yeah. You can judge everyone. Be like, ah, oh, this guy's got a. Bad credit score. Well, if it's just going to tackle low lowlifes that are yeah. just have bad credit scores. Yeah, yeah. You, you go outside your door and you haven't paid your bills, and you're going to be Plomp. like, you're to like look both ways and be like, shit, 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 shit. <laughs> go, 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 yeah. go, go. And be like, oh, shit, here it is. And then, like, stop, stop. <laughs> late payment, late yeah. payment. And then here comes the robot. Yep. Stay tuned. It's going to happen here There's too. There's going to be dr drones that can tase from the sky soon, too. Mm -hmm. It's going to happen. Hmm. Meanwhile, Meanwhile, don't you guys hate spherical aberration? I hate spherical aberration. I actually kind of like it. Nothing makes me angrier than spherical aberration. I pour a big bowl of cereal every morning and I seethe into it. <laughs> Just eating. <laughs> Thinking about how furious I am about spherical aberration. Ah! <laughs> Nobody has been able to crack this. What spherical aberration is, is the... What is spherical aberration? <laughs> It's what, it's what drives me. <laughs> it makes me so angry. The source of all angst. You guys can have the best lenses on the on the planet, and on the edges they may not be perfectly sharp. The reason we got like dust floating around in the air over here, Jesus. So on the edges, you know, the, ren, the lens is spherical and it's aiming everything down onto like a flat surface, and in the center it's very very sharp. But the spherical aberration makes it so that it's never perfectly sharp on the far edges. It, they can get close if you, if you have, you know, if you stop the aperture down a little bit, but not quite. Well, there's a Mexican physicist who finally figured it out, and right here's the answer. See, I almost had this. I was sitting there in my cereal, and I almost had this in my brain, but no. No, I, I missed a couple things. But there's the Mexican, um, the Mexican physicist by the name of... Why does it not say his name? Just a Mex Mexican physicist. Where it says, is it? Uh, uh, uh. Come on. It takes like. That's because he's Mexican. Here it is. That's because he's Mexican and they don't care about yeah, Mexicans. Yeah, it, it takes until the like third or fourth paragraph to actually say this person's name. Rafael G. Gonzalez Acuna. Acuna. Gonzalez Acuna. Yeah, he's got that nice tilde above his name. Yeah. yeah. So tilde, tilt. Never mind. Um. Anyway, he figured this out. Now they're going to be able to make lenses for uh, a less expensive, and they're going to get rid of the spherical aberration to have perfectly sharp images all the way to the corners. So, uh, the fuck is all that noise? By the way, guys, we have people installing stuff on the roof above us. It's been happening for a while now. <clears throat> they're messing with the, Jesus. There's shit everywhere. Like dust falling falling down from the roof. Yeah, my glasses are just coated. <laughs> I can taste the in, roof. Yeah, it's like, it's in my mouth, it's in my eyes, it's everywhere. <coughs> okay, it's getting bad. <coughs> yeah, it sucks in here. Here, let's balance it. <laughs> there we go, now I can... Whew. Oh, that that's better. It. Oh, okay. the fog machine. Wonderful. Mm. 
see that's what's happening upstairs right now on the roof and uh we're supposed to be getting an ac unit installed but yeah yeah the nsa is definitely installing bugs yeah because we're such a high priority list um, <laughs> what's this going on right here it's this shit what? they won't even let me you know what all right fuck it we're not we're, we're, oh it let me finally okay leave. Um, okay, another shitty thing about Amazon. They're sharing a lot of their technology with local law enforcement officials, giving them access to some of their databases, and also providing them with facial, recogni <clears throat> facial recognition technology and a whole bunch of other things. The thing that's crazy about this is, you know, when Amazon works with the local, uh, the local forces and stuff, they're going to have access to all that data themselves mm -hmm. because they're working with them instead of just, like, providing it to them. You know, they're, like, sharing with them. So that's going to make Amazon even more powerful, even more overreach. So I don't know. It's Don't use their freaking services, and that's all I've pretty much got to say, especially the ones that are recording all the stuff you say and everything. Yeah. I but buy know. stuff and have it shipped to you still. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I actually made a list of stuff to buy at Amazon. Mm -hmm. and went to the local bookstore with some, some people this week and bought them all there. Just like I had my, had my Amazon shopping cart in my hand, and I was like, I'm looking for these things. And I was like, it, was, it ended up costing me like two extra dollars, but I felt so good afterwards that it was worth that two dollars. Like I took care of the local mom and pop. I am, I'm having a, a debate with myself right now. All right. About some buying something on Amazon. Can I take a moment to talk about uh, something role-playing game related for once? Yeah, do you need to like lay down on the couch so we can do like no, a Freud, Freud so, thing here? No, so I'm having an issue. Right. I, I'm, I'm like trying to avoid using Amazon as much as possible. And obviously I want to spoil mom and pop businesses and stuff, including like my friendly local game store, which you should always try to support. Right. And I want to get Pathfinder second edition because as we all know, I'm a professional dungeon master. And so I need to get second edition to stay current and everything. It's the hot because stuff. Everybody wants to play it now. Right. I can get it for like 26% off on Amazon versus paying the full $60 for it at my friendly local game store. 26% off. Yeah. And they won't match the prices, right? No, of course they won't. <sighs> That's like, tried, that's like that's like it's like almost twenty bucks. Have you like, tried Powell's books? Yeah, they're, say, they're really their prices say, are usually mm -hmm. the same as Amazon. No, usually it's because usually they just put one on the back of the book for for role playing. I don't know. I mean, there's like a there's like a point. I'll I'll like yeah. I'll pay like an extra five to ten percent. Twenty six percent. That's a bit much. Yeah. Yeah. Does your location sort of give you room to play? Does Amazon give you room to play? Well, no. Guess not. The local game store also sells beer. It's true, they do. So while you're there playing, you drink beer and buy mm -hmm. whatever the hell they've got to sell. They sell, like, pretzels and stuff. Yeah, I'm chups. I was wondering about, like, why they sell such, why, why they sell, like, garbage there. Like, why, why don't, why do they even sell any food? They're just selling, like, Skittles and stuff. Mm -hmm. Apparently in Portland, you are required to have, like, 10 food items on your menu if you're going to yep. sell alcohol. So I didn't know that until recently. They, that's why like, they have to have snacky stuff that can absorb things. And that's why they try yeah. to have a food cart there regularly and everything. I yeah. used to go into some bars here and like. Actually, their beer is not that overpriced it's compared to other places. Yeah, they keep it reasonably priced. Like three fifty for yeah. a cider, four dollars for a good beer, like a yeah, you know, and like you a ten percent alcohol beer, like five bucks, you know. And you can get like a two buck chuck there too, like if you need, like whatever. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. two buck chuck, like a wine. Yeah, yeah, they got they got all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, skipping this one, this is yeah. this thing. All right, I'm sick of talking about Facebook. God damn it! But they keep doing this shit. We've already we've talked about this before, but they actually recently wrote a um, announced in a blog article what they were doing. Let's see if I can open that up here. They're going to read your mind. Mm -hmm. uh, well, no, that's not what they're doing. They're, they want hands-free communication, and then the, right now the way to do this is they've they've been working with the University of California something San Francisco. Yeah. Tao, you bring up a good point. Mm -hmm. Support your local game store because they support you and your hobby. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Twenty six percent though. This is the internal struggle I'm having. Like, I'm having. That's a lot. Yeah, is, that, that's like beyond the the point of like. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so Amazon mm -hmm. wants to read your mind. I mean, Facebook wants to read. I'm sure everybody does. And uh, right now they've been working with the University of California, uh, San Francisco, which also makes me feel weird. They're working with like universities and stuff. Yeah. And they've developed a way to put. Um, like little electrical what, diodes or something on the brain. So you actually have to have access to the brain. And uh, with people who <clears throat> have communication troubles, paralyzed, maybe they can't mm -hmm. communicate, they're able to um, extract words from the electrical signals in their brains and in real time print those words onto a screen. So you can think stuff and it prints the words onto a screen. They only have a very small library of words that they've figured out you know, how, how to um, translate from different impulses and stuff. But it works. 
mm. so far. And Facebook wants to put a bunch of money into taking this farther and then figuring out if there's something you could just like tap on your head, like a little sticker, like Black, Black like, Mirror style. That way we don't have to like... Like, oh, Justin likes this. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. Or you could just like, whenever you sit down in front of Facebook, it makes the connection and then you just start thinking like... Whatever you whatever you want to think, like oh, open that page or let's mm. type some things. And I maybe this is just me. I feel like my my brain is too scattered to control things like that. Like like I feel like it would take a lot of focus for me to like right. scroll down through pages and stuff. Versus because like, well, like I think they it would uh, be like scroll through the page, scroll through the page. Oh, you know what are, I should do for that bugbear battle that's going to be coming up in that one game? I should have some of them that are rangers and some of them that are fighters, and then do another, like and then bounce back to what I'm like. That's and then you're going to start getting lots of advertisements on Instagram. Yeah, for mm. the com- the complete bugbear manual mm. and uh, Pathfinder, you know whatever it is, the next Pathfinder edition and stuff. See you, Snaggle. See you, Hope Bart. everything's okay. Well, what is it? He's, what? His grandma's fallen and she can't get up. Oh. That's not a joke. Well. Yeah. Hmm. Take care, Grandma. Yeah. Let us know if it's all right. See you on Discord later. All right. And uh, that's yeah. everybody knows uh, about yeah. that. Okay. All right, let's get in some fun stuff. Yeah. So... <laughs> After some pretty big losses and stuff through the Fox film industry, most notably being the Dark Phoenix, which was like a huge box office super fucking tank. So what, what was the Dark? I mean, I, I, Dark Phoenix is an X Men movie. Yeah, it, um, it, it starred uh, what's it, Sophia. It had Sophie whatever. Sophie Turner Sophie in it, Turner. and like a bunch of other people who have been part. Was of the it terrible? Of it. Uh, it got it got really bad reviews, and it only made about six million dollars on its opening weekend or something like that, or sixty million or something like that. It, it way underperformed, right. and as a result. Disney has kind of just decided to nuke it all. They're, they, they like... It's like, Disney's like, if it doesn't make a billion dollars, it's, it's dead to us. Yeah, so Disney has now nuked the majority of the upcoming projects on uh, through Fox. And just to give you an idea... All right, that's the right one, yeah. This is the right one. Just to, just to give you an idea, here's a nice little list... Go slower. I don't even know if I need to see any of these, or I wanted to see any of these or not. So all these are now classified development. I don't know. That's a huge list. Yeah. I'm only in the C's. The only in the, Jesus. How yeah. many movies have they got? Chronicle 2. So they're getting rid of pretty much everything except for, like, the new Avatar movie and some of the big, right. like, obviously money-making things. Dear Satan? Dork Recess? What the hell? Yeah, some of these have really fucking weird names, too. Fucking Identical Twins. <laughs> Oh, God. Uh, you know, some marketing bro came up with that in title. Yeah. Hmm. Like, some of these... I don't, I don't see anything on here that I really care about. Hitman. My, the only thing I'm worried about, and I think it's for long enough in the production that's not going to happen, but the Bob's Burgers movie that's coming out, uh, that's the only thing I'm really worried about. That'll probably come out. Another King Kong. How many more King Kongs do we need? Yeah. Magic the Gathering the movie. Why is it not called Magic the Gathering colon the movie? <laughs> I don't know. Mega, Mega Man? Man? Yep. We've uh, got uh, uh, yeah. Myth, if that's... I uh, hope that's not a remake. Uh, I hope that's Plato? A, hope Myth is about the uh, 90s video game. Yeah, right? That would be rad. Romancing the Stone, apparently, is getting a remake. What? Yep. Sex Castle. Romancing the Stone, like the Indiana Jones-type movie with... Uh, uh, Kurt Russell? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just look at all the stuff that they... And, and they're just like... Scrapping it all. Not Kurt Russell. That's um, not Kurt. Oh no. It's the guy who was the millionaire in the uh, Wall Street. What's his name? Uh, uh, in *Romancing the Stone*. Yeah, yeah. It's mm. not Kurt Russell. I don't think. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it. Maybe it is. No, it's no. It's They're not. doing another *League of Extraordinary Gentlemen* movie. Oh. This and like, uh, th- I'm. This is still happening. Like, oh my god. There's so much that they're just like, nope. So Fox is basically gonna turn into only putting out about five or six movies a year. Great. It, which, don't, we don't need all this crap, but they're only going to put out the boring ones anyway. Like, yeah. The, or the ones that I don't really care about, the mainstream. Like, like Avatar, yeah, like about. Avatar 4. Is there, is, there, is there an Avatar 2 and 3? Not yet, but they've already produced Avatar 2, 3, and 4. I didn't know there was an, I didn't even know that was going to be a yeah, thing. Yeah, this, this one makes me sad right here. Dragon's Lair the movie? Dragon's Lair? Yeah. Also, <laughs> Fraggle Rock the movie. Anyway. Huh, interesting. Yeah. Michael Douglas, thank you so much. Oh, Michael Douglas. Okay, yeah, yeah there not we Kurt go. Russell. Kurt Russell. Yeah. Thanks for helping us out. There. Yeah. Anyways, this is what I'm actually most looking forward to right now. Yep. Yeah. Trying mm. four. Finally. 
looks so good. Every time I see a preview for this, I get super excited. So this one's going to be up to four player instead of just three player. Fraggle Rock the movie would only be good as long as they re remain true to their puppet Muppet roots. Yeah, if it's fully CG and then they make it all like way yeah. too hip and cool and they try to add a bunch of modern yeah. jokes and they get like Beyonce to star in it. No. No, it needs it would need to be Jim Henson Puppet Studio and just make fucking Fraggle Rock puppets. Yeah. Yeah. Just, no need to go like overboard. Just do it, do yeah. it right. So anyway, Trine is uh, finally back. Mm. Finally. Like Trine 3 was a mess. They tried to do like a... Uh, like a third person is there a is game? there a, but this is side scrolling now there's four people yeah is there a fourth yeah part, a member type or is it just a, a skin just a of one of the other two i think or it's, one of the other three? i think it's a skin of the the warrior but he's kind of a monster i don't know huh yeah. but yeah you can uh, now play four player nice which just i guess does anybody have four friends anymore these days no no <laughs> you can play with four randos i don't know yeah it's ew, randos fuck those guys ew. anyway ew. Ew. i think it looks good yeah mm -hmm. Can't wait. October 10th, I think it is? 8th. October 8th. Yeah. So, yeah. Into it. Can't wait for that. Also, if you guys like cyberpunk games, this one is... God, I don't know how I feel about this one. I feel like... Um, I think... Looks Imps in virtual like worlds. Two. Like a murder two over a to, game no, clan dispute. To, like, every like, or child like slavery cyberpunk. in it's a free-to-play game. Good. A lot has changed in this world, but not the human nature. Greed leads to crime. Crime leads to conspiracy. Oh, whoops. Oh, sorry, everyone. Sorry, guys. Let me turn off the. Let me turn this off over here. Thought it was off. There. God damn it. Thought the audio was off. So, yeah, anyway, this is um, an interesting idea because you're a guy mm. who goes into virtual worlds just to do whatever you know <laughs> so that could that could be interesting but yeah <laughs> poor dog damn it i'm sorry sorry dog sorry uh, uh this is yours i don't this is just this was just a cool thing uh a, a used game store found a thirteen thousand dollar nes cartridge just like at the bottom of a sack it's only like a, what how many 90 of these maybe? yeah and and this one was missing, like this this serial number. Everyone's mm -hmm. like, no one knows where it is. Number yep. number zero three zero two. Mm -hmm. It has just a few uh, games on it, but they're it's all like a pro, some promo material. Yeah, but they're all timed versions that you can do. So you can right. Yeah, uh, timed versions of Super Mario Brothers, Rad Racer, and Tetris. Yeah, all in one cartridge. Mm hmm. So cool. Anyway, so <laughs> why is everybody freaking out about this? I don't know. Everyone thinks this is a bong. <laughs> Well, I mean, it is, right? It, it It's supposed to be a smokestack. Like, I ain't never seen no smokestack looks like that. Yeah, it's, it's it's this would be a really inefficient bong if it were a bong. First off, it looks like two bongs put together for being real. Right. Uh, That's, that, but, they, don't you call that bongos? Yeah, mm -hmm. obviously. Yes. Uh, so we have bongos. But yeah. But the whole point of it is that the that the Galarian wheezing is supposed to take in the bad air and produce good air. So... Oh. Yeah. I mean, I guess it's a bong. It's a bong, but whatever. It's supposed to be a smokestack. I don't know. <laughs> okay. I, I Yeah, Mixos, thank you. Thank you. What? Everything is a bong if you're desperate enough. Yep. Like, we got, we got a bong right the, here. Any one of the Pokemon could be bongs if you really wanted them to be. Like... <laughs> I don't know. I think everybody needs something to freak out about. So this is trending until next week when everyone forgets about it because yeah. that's how long the attention spans are unless it's really outrageous. Mm. So, yeah. All right, I don't care anymore. Yeah. Make it, make fucking it go bong. Are you going to play this? I think so. Uh, the, someone someone mentioned in the comments that No Man's Sky was, was one of their uh, stress reliever games earlier. <sighs> you know what? I got to say, like, the developer on this game has not stopped. They are still trying to get mm -hmm. to their original vision. I feel like they've maybe yeah. not, not gotten there quite yet, but this is, maybe this is another big step there. Yeah, this is definitely a lot closer to their original vision. Right. Um, and I got to say, like, they, you know, they took a lot of hits when No Man's Sky came out, and they just kept going, which is, like, really good for them. Like, yeah, they're like, nope, we're going to keep improving it. They didn't yep. abandon the project. They didn't, I mean, you got to have a lot of money to do that. So that's that's one yeah. thing, you know. And, and there was, like, months, a couple months ago, No Man's Sky was still a joke. 
like yeah people were like ha 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 remember no man's sky the people biggest are, fuck over of history people are showing and, up to defend it all the time now yeah. being like no 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 guys it's different it's not the same game yeah so it's and it's definitely come leaps and bounds right it looks cool i'd yeah. still like a little bit slow paced for my taste but if you want to chill fun and, for fucking around in space you know yeah it's a, probably a good chill out game yeah for people there is a storyline but you know it's, it's more for yes this has finally gotten a release date which I forget what it is, but... Probably say it in the video. Yeah. More games to talk about? So, 11-bit. Like, we talked about this, like, two years ago or something when we went to PAX and saw it. And played Children War. I love the artwork yeah. in this game. It's got really nice artwork. Mm -hmm. In fact, I want to do my living room like that. I Good cannot animations. wait. This is going to be a game that I can't wait to play with my friends and just, like, go to town and just start tearing things yeah. apart. I've played the demo of this a million times. It's super duper fun. Every time they release a new update for the for the demo and stuff, I'm just like, oh my god, it gets you know, like. Is it mostly combat, or do you have a lot of exploration? No, there's combat. There's a I mean, it's I mean, a lot I mean, of combat. I mean, is it, yeah. Is there a lot of exploration, or mostly just? Combat? There's some exploration. It's the storyline about the family and stuff. Like they they tell you this whole like there's this whole sub story going on. Yeah. While you're also going deeper and deeper into these caverns and stuff. And the animation does look amazing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's nuts. Uh, I cannot wait for this to fully release. I think it's going to be so good. Let's right, skip to the end and see when the date's coming out. Mm -hmm. Come on, Children of Morta. Mm -hmm. Okay, October 15th. October 15th. So you got like. Or September 3rd on, on Steam. All right, you got. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? September yep. 3rd? So you yeah, can play that. Oh. Soon. Yeah, very soon. Soon. Really soon. You can play that before you play Trine. Yeah. Right, what's next? All right, this is. Oh, yeah. This. So, deep fakes can be used for good. For, yeah. For, yeah, for good as well. So someone has deep faked the Lion King to fix it. Uh, yeah, I can't see it because Scar has to look like this. If Scar doesn't look like this, I don't want to see yeah. it. Yeah, Scar just looks like a fucking lion. Like, why like whatever. Give him, give him the black hair. Come on. Yeah. At least they could have done that. Like, yeah. No, he just looked like a fucking lion. Like, it was like, whatever. Well, the lions have no emotion in the new, mm -hmm. in the new one. Yeah. So. So, like, had... Lion King looked like this, 100% would have gone and seen it. <laughs> like, has anyone seen the Lion King? I've only heard, um, one. I've only heard the story still, still the same, but there's it's it's uncanny valley because there's no emotion coming from any of the animals. Which... Yeah, it's just a shot for shot with like animals with no with cardboard animals, right? Like, that's what I've heard, but yeah. I, I don't care that much. We anymore. forgot to add a PDX alert. Oh, let's open up Twitter then. All right, I'm getting PDX alerts ready to go. Yeah. Of course it's a money grab. It's goddamn Disney. Yeah. yeah. Sieg, Sieg says it's a money grab. Yeah, of course. Disney Disney, Disney loves money. Yeah, he said it. holding a Star Wars pen that's licensed to Disney. <laughs> Disney is money. They, yeah. don't, they don't do anything original anymore. No, why would they? It's easier just to rebrand right. their old shit than it is to come up with something original and take the gamble that it might be good, might be not. I mean, but even... Even stuff like uh, Alita Battle Angel that made you know hundreds of millions of dollars, it's like, mm -hmm. eh, it didn't make a billion. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, come on, guys. It didn't It's like the best thing that it's come out of that studio in yeah. years. Why do you think they don't do Mickey Mouse movies anymore? Because they don't actually make that much money. Yeah. Comparatively. <laughs> Honey, I shrunk the revenue. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, I miss Rick Moranis. Poor guy. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I do too. All right, let's see what's going on in Portland. Have you looked at any of these yet today? Nope. I haven't. Make this thing go away. Sure. All right. All right. All right. Let's see. I'll let you drive. Uh... There's going to be another one on there in a minute that says, man throws person off roof. Uh, let's see. Any good ones? Possible body floating in the river? Ugh. Uh, yeah. Possible? Yeah. Possible body? Well, maybe go fucking check. <laughs> it might be a dude okay, here. Okay, here we go. Uh, Southwest 2nd and Alder report of a suspicious subject. Uh, male sitting between two cars repeatedly punching himself in the face. Described as a white male with bleach blonde hair. Okay. I know what he's up to. He's about to he's about to call his HR department mm -hmm. and say that his manager beat him up and try to sue them. Uh, I've tried this. Yeah. Uh, report of a suspicious female flashing people with her pants down around her ankles. How far away is that? Let's go. Yeah. It's way out there though. Uh, report of a suspicious subject inside. Uh, Stable catering, male walking around with an aerosol making puffs of fire. Great. <laughs> Just in a, in a, like a restaurant or something? Like, yeah. Ugh. 
That's sad. Yeah. Jeez. Uh, Lots of what a shit show. Poor of a male masturbating in a ditch next to the Dancing Bear Strip Club. Uh, that is it. That's that's the new low right there. Yep. At least you, you you could be like, you know what? At least I'm not masturbating in a ditch beside a strip club. Yeah, I guess it's fair. You know, that that's the new thing, guys. Uh, re- oh, here we go. Report of a female in the intersection at Northeast 16th and Broadway doing handstands whenever the light turns green. Why? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That would have been uh, even worse than the bicycle that pulled out in front of me. Yeah. Dancing Bear. Nice name for a strip club. I don't know. Yeah. The strip clubs out of here all have, I guess, different, more regular names. But I remember living in Florida. Everyone you passed by was named after, like, diamonds, emeralds, yeah. rubies, sapphire. The best. Like, the They're all named after, like, money stuff. Because you'd sleazebags that own them would just be, like, gold teeth, Humvee. My, my name in my place is Pure Platinum Babes. You know, mm-hmm. like, the, always the, that. The best name I ever saw uh, was, it's not there anymore because it changed to a worse name. Uh, but there's a strip club right near the ho- the the airport here, mm-hmm. and it used to be called the Landing Strip, which was like yes, <laughs> thank you, yes. Uh, uh, but then they changed their name to like it's like Adult Playroom now or something, and the way they did their font on it looks like it's like a place that you would go drop your kids off at, maybe. <laughs> like it's got like blocks and stuff. It's really like. I'm sh- they they've had to have had like a, someone walk in there with their kids thinking it was for kids at this jo- at this point now. And they but, also yeah. being in Portland being like, "Oh, mm-hmm. well, you know what? I'm going to leave them in here anyway." Yeah, it's fine. It they'll, looks safe. They'll learn something. It's a safe space. It's body positive. Uh. Mm. Uh, yeah. What? Mm, Kit Kat Club. Uh, but yeah, Landing Strip best name ever. <laughs> I don't know of any other good names around here. I I don't know. Really, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Really, really sad stuff going on. Uh, report of... Oh, wait, here we go. Re- police to Northwest 21st Roosevelt. Report of an elderly female in the road trying to stop moving cars with her body. I think that might be she's trying to get hit. Would be the yeah. other, would be the way to say that. She's mm-hmm. trying to end it all by getting hit. Maybe. Yeah. So from now on, anyone who runs out into traffic, they're just trying to stop cars with their body. They're not trying yeah. to get hit. Yeah, that that way. You, no, she was trying to. She was trying, trying to, to help. She was trying to stop the car with her body. <laughs> All right, I give up. This looks pretty. All right, yeah, that's pretty that's sad here. Said. Report of two males fighting, one armed with a wrench, and then a little further up, there's report of two males fighting, one armed with a hammer. We got the village people just yeah. having it out right now. Someone left their toolbox out for people to fight with. <laughs> mm. All right. Female with a gun running around. Yeah. That's that's enough. Mm. All right, guys. See you in the... In the... See you in the... Funny papers? Yeah, I'm waiting to, for this thing. Oh, there we go. See you in the funny papers. Yes. <laughs>